everybody! My name's Ruth. I'm one of the naturalists at Beaver Creek Reserve. And on this week's Trailside Treasure, I'm not actually on the trail. I'm at my house, and we are taking part of what's known as No Mow May. So No Mow May is to try to allow the plants and the grasses to get up to a flowering stage so that they're useful to our pollinators, to our native pollinators. At my house, one of the things we notice is this white patch. This plant is known as pussy toes. Now pussy toes, or field pussy toes in this case, are native, and they produce a teeny tiny little flower. The flower, when we look at it, looks like kitten toes. So that's where the name pussy toes comes from. Pussy toes are native, and they are part of the aster family. So that means they're a composite. Most people don't necessarily realize when you look at a composite flower, say a black-eyed Susan, that brown center part is lots of tiny flowers known as disc flowers. And then the petals are each an individual flower known as a ray flower. So when you look at that, it's a composite of a bunch of flowers put together. In the case of the pussy toes, what we see as a little flower actually is about 20 to 30 small flowers on the head. It only has the disc flower, it does not have the ray flowers. Now, pussy toes are interesting in that they are alleopathic, which means they put out a chemical which keeps the surrounding plants shorter. They need, pussy toes needs full sun, and so by keeping the plants that grow around you short, they're not gonna outcompete you for the light. A lot of our solitary bees, our single bees, can utilize the flowers. The plant itself is a host plant for a butterfly that we know as the American lady butterfly. So when you hear host plant for a butterfly, it's actually for the caterpillars. Caterpillars are incredibly picky eaters. Some caterpillars, like the monarch, will only eat from the family called milkweed. American lady butterflies have several different host plants, but one of them is the pussy toes. So by taking part in No Mo May, we are able to see these cool little flowers come right up in our yard. Thanks for joining me. See you next time. Hi, I'm Eric Keisler, Executive Director from Beaver Creek Reserve. Thanks for watching this great educational video from our staff. To find out more information like this and others, check out our website at beavercreekreserve.org. You can also support us by being a member or donating to our endowment campaign, which is supporting Beaver Creek through this COVID-19 crisis. Thank you. We appreciate your time.